In this tutorial, we will look at how you can review the results of your Microsoft Forms quiz. Now, in this case, I am going to go into Microsoft Teams and into my class team here because I created an assignment for this quiz that I assigned. So I'm going to show you how to get into those results. So I'll go to assignments here at the top of my team and I will find the quiz right here, test of the century. And I can see off to the right that two out of three have turned it in, but I'll click into this. And now I'm going to see the students listed here and whether or not they've turned it in and completed it. And then I'll see their score off to the far right here. However, um, for me to give them feedback or review their uh, individual answers, I need to open this in forms. And so Teams provides you a convenient link right here, open in forms. So this opens up, it takes me to forms and it takes me right to the results of the test per student. So here's student one, I can scroll down and see exactly how they responded to each question, whether they got these correct or not. And one of the things I can do is give them for each question, I can click here and actually give them feedback per question. I can also provide overall feedback at the very top. In addition, you'll notice that you can actually adjust their scores per question. So for example, in this question, if they had, you know, kind of mistyped something, but they still typed the correct answer, I could actually adjust this and give them a point, uh, point credit for this question. Then um, to go to the next student, I'm just going to click next here and do the same thing. I can review, provide feedback, etc. Also, you can click on questions here and look at this per question in summary to see um, you know, how your class did on this particular you know, per question. Now, when you're done with all of that individual reviewing, you can go up here to the back arrow. This will take you back to this class summary results. And so here you can look at each question with a nice graphical summary of how the class did overall. Now, what if you did not use Teams assignment to send your quiz out? What if you just sent them a link to your quiz directly, either through email or through text message or other means? In that case, you will need to come back to the Forms app. So you'll go to office.com, you'll log in at Office 365, and then you will click into Forms. When Forms loads, you will see all of your form surveys and quizzes. Here's test, test of the Century. And I can click into this quiz. And I can then go to Responses here and review all of the responses. Next to review answers, you will see post scores. The purpose of this button is to then send the results back to the students. And by results, I mean not just their score, but any feedback that you typed in when you reviewed their answers, that will also send them the feedback. And so if I click post scores here, and you notice I can be selective about which students I'm sending back to, I'm going to go ahead and select all and post scores. Now what this will do, when I go back to Teams, let's refresh, get back out and back in. And so what, hap what, what happens now is you can see that the students who have already reviewed are, not, are missing from the list. That's because they were moved to the graded tab here. So I can go to graded and see that I've graded and returned this test and their feedback to them. And if I click here on the plus, I will actually be able to see my written feedback there. 
And so the students, when they come back in and they look and they click into the assignment, they will see their score here and uh, any feedback you sent them. And that is how you review the results of your forms quiz.